knowing everyone you know, having worked for the league back in the day, give me a prediction. Say in uh, 2018, is the XFL back? Wow. I- I'm going to have to say yes, and only Vince and the crew that works for him can put together a football league in a matter of months. I would say it's a crazy thought process, but I, like I said, I was in the room, and then two months later they were having games. So I think that's one of the things you have to think about When do you want to do the league? Uh, How long do you give the players to get in shape? What kind of players are you going to uh, go after? Uh, Best believe Vince has been doing some research behind the scenes because he's not going to come out and blow 50 or $100 million on something that he's already tried. If he calls me, because I'm the only person in the history of the world to be the voice of Monday Night Raw and also be on SportsCenter for 10 years. So if Vince calls for somebody who knows both sides of the fence, you're damn right I'm going to pick up the phone. Just because he's talking about getting back into football, let's remember that where Vince's home base is, few people know this, where's his home base? Do you know? North Carolina. He's got a, an, a, he has a restaurant in North Carolina. Hell, Triple H's bachelor party was in Raleigh, North Carolina. So are we thinking that the Panthers, is that, I don't know. I'm just saying, how cool would it be? Because all this came down the last couple of days that P. Diddy is trying to get together uh, a a group, but yet the old crotchety owners wouldn't want P. Diddy and his crew in there, which I think would be a mistake by the owners. But Vince has legitimate money. He's a billionaire. He could come up with the funds, and he's also at the age where the other owners would respect that. So I'm not saying that he would. But I think that's a second possibility that people aren't kind of tossing out there because they want to believe that he would start his own entity. 